fire all over your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere where there is darkness, you cannot hide in this place. This is the arena of liberty. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who are you? What is your name? Answer clearly and loud. What is your name? Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Speak right now in the mighty name of Jesus. What have you done? Speak clearly. Speak in English. What have you done in her life? What have you done in her life? What did you what did you do with her family, her marriage? Destroy, destroy. How did you destroy? Everything. The How did you destroy? Families destroyed. Family is destroyed. Family is destroyed. How did you destroy her, her family? Sickness. Sickness. What else did you do to her family? I made them suffer. How did you make them suffer? Uh, they've got nothing. They got nothing. What have you done to her finances? Answer right now in the mighty name of Jesus. What have you done to her finances? Stop it. You stopped it. We stopped it. What have you done to her health? I brought lots of sickness. You brought lots of sickness? Yes. What else skin, have you done in her life? Skin. I brought the skin disease. You brought the skin disease? Yes. How'd you enter in her life? We don't want this. Don't want what? This. This light. There's light here. Yes. How'd you enter her life? <laughs> Birth. 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 How many of you there? <laughs> How many of you there? Five thousand. Five thousand. Who is this person sitting next, uh, standing next to you? Look at him. Who is this person standing next to you? Who is he? No, I don't want him. You don't I want don't him? I don't want him. Okay. <laughs> Sir, who, who is this lady standing right next to you? She's my wife. She's your wife. Can you call her name? Suzanne? Suzanne. No! <laughs> what else have you done in her life? What pain everywhere. Pain. What have pain. you done in her ministry? I bring it down. I bring it down. You brought her ministry down. Yeah. Mm. Can you go back to the hospital? Can you can you ask you a couple of questions? What what can you say? What can you say about um, what what the demon has been confessing? Um, I I know she had uh, suffered for a long time with skin problems. Mm -hmm. She had bumps and they. Uh, well, when I met her, they they, they were uh, going away. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yes, that's... Uh, what can you say about the family, her family, your family? She, uh, uh, her, she is from an... Uh, she doesn't know who her father is. And okay. it was a di very difficult to understand and to accept. I think. Okay. Yeah. What can you say about the finances? Is that destroyed? Stop the finances? Uh, well, I think when since I met her, my finances we're going much better. Mm -hmm. um, I think she's very responsible and I know that she had some problems when she was younger, but mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. You unclean spirit, you demonic spirit, you are in the arena of liberty. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. All of you out right now. Come on church, let's stretch our hands and let's begin to pray. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, every single one of you. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're back on the floor and you're out in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Every single one of you. 
because of Christ. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because of Christ, we declare you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How are you feeling? <laughs> the, the liver hurts. The you liver feeling the liver? <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah. Susanna, who is this? Okay, can you come here? Can you come here? Who is this person standing right next to you? This is my husband. <laughs> this is your husband. So this is to say, to show you that what was in her was not her. It was the evil spirit that was speaking out. And that you should not remind her or hold it against her ever. Okay? Susanna, you were... You're saying that uh, you're a demon, 5,000 demons. Were you the one to say it? <laughs> well, I, I had, um, I thought about something like that. I had many f uh, spiritual problems when I was a child. I could see demons. There were demons in the house. Hmm. And I went to the witchcraft. You, you, you dabbled with witchcraft? I done a long time ago. Long time, yeah. Long yeah. time ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew, uh, I got a lot of healings and deliverance already, but... I, we still had a very big spiritual battle, and so I knew there was something wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So <clears throat> Today you've been set free and delivered completely by Jesus. Say thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank Say you thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. We welcome you here today to the Anointing Water Prayer Line in the United States. Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? I'm Suzanne. I'm uh, Dutch, but uh, I'm from New Zealand. I lived there for two years. And can you tell us who is this person standing next to you today? Uh, this is Roderick. He's my husband. And can you tell us what was the problem that brought you here to receive prayer with the anointing water? Well, for the past two years living in New Zealand, um, I thought living, it was getting going to be better, but actually um, I had uh, quite some panic attacks and yeah so I um, I had many like uh, pains once in a while then I had a foot accident and then when that was got better then something else came up there was always a pain somewhere so uh, yeah that's the reason why I well also a uh, important reason was my my husband for him to get healed but for, for myself it was mainly the, the panic attacks and can you tell us what happened during the prayer line today as you were receiving that prayer with the anointing water? Uh, well, I felt like I, I really had a burden, <laughs> a pretty heavy burden on my on my head, in my head. Um, yeah, so I, uh, when the man of God prayed for me, I really felt uh, the demons were manifesting and there were, uh, the demons said well, they were like with 5,000. <laughs> which I kind of expected because I had many spiritual problems in my life. So it was a very big battle even also to come here. Cause and can you tell us what were these specific problems that you were having uh, that you mentioned as you before you came here? Yeah, like mm, with some problems or with, like with in a difficult situation, I would just, I, I wouldn't know what to do. I would just lose control sort of over myself. I would just freak out i wouldn't have any control over myself or like being with some other people i would just say th really bad things and i wouldn't really have a control over it really or have sometimes evil thoughts as well uh well when i was uh, 16 i moved away from my mother's house and i went to live in a home and I, there was a girl i became friends with her and she was into witchcraft so then I also got into witchcraft and for two years about and I was yeah totally dressed in black I was all gothic and I, I yeah w was part of a very alternative group and they were all into witchcraft so I, I would see as a child I would see demons or there their things moving in the r in the house and yeah i saw many demons and i heard also lots of voices also um i was very i used to have anorexia and i was very thin and i went to a mental hospital i was very depressed i wasn't eating so can you tell us what happened to you today as you were receiving prayer with the anointing water uh well i i could feel uh the ho when 
um, the anointing water came on me. Uh, I, I felt I was also sort of losing control and I, I think the demon was manifesting and I was just, I sort of almost, uh, well, I fell on the ground and um, yeah, I didn't really have control anymore. So I was kind of surprised that, um, yeah, 5,000 demons <laughs> I was kind of surprised <laughs> in some way, but it explains a lot of the problems and the mental issues I had in my life, so. And now how do you feel after you've received that prayer? Well, I feel really very, uh, much lighter and really delivered, happy, very happy inside. And yeah, I know uh, Jesus is my Lord and Savior and I have no regrets of following him, although sometimes it's a bit difficult, but <laughs> it's worth it. He gives healing and deliverance. And today during the prayer, do you remember ever saying uh, that you didn't know who your husband was? Well, I I was there. I could hear everything, but I, I didn't really have control like the, the demon was talking. <laughs> I didn't have control, but I heard everything. <laughs> and how about after the prayer? Uh, yeah, I I knew I, I got deliverance. Um, I knew that demon was a, a problem, uh, especially for the panic attacks and other um, like dreams. I had really bad dreams, uh, very uh, discouraging and uh, nightmares and everything. I knew that demon was responsible for that. So that's why I came to the prayer line to get deliverance from that. And so I, Jesus did through these people here, wonderful people. <laughs> uh, and now we want to hear from your husband. We welcome you here today. Can you tell us your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is R Roderick Hoek, Roderick. Um, uh, I live in New Zealand and um, I'm originally uh, Dutch. And can you tell us uh, who's this woman that's standing next to you today? Uh, the woman uh, which is standing ne next to me is Suzanne. She is my wife. What can you say about what the demons said about her life and her past? And how can you confirm this to be true? Uh, the demons said uh, that she, um, that they destroyed her life. Um, and that um, that was to birth and all skin problems. Um, I can confirm that because I've seen, uh, I know from her past and I know that she had uh, skin problems. And what can you say about her attitude and behavior at home? Uh, well, she um, the, when I met her, she had more lots of panic attacks, sometimes uh, really bad, um, but it came uh, getting less and less in time. Um, I think it's going much better. Uh, yeah, that the problem is that uh, she would like to know who her real father is and. And now what can you say about her after the prayer? Uh, she's very happy now. She's uh, very happy to come here and receive the anointing water. She was uh, really, really determined to come. And so I think she's much better now. And we're very happy that we came. Amen. Well, we thank God for this wonderful deliverance that took place. And we know that uh, as you guys have received that healing and deliverance, uh, that you will continue to make God's word the standard for your life so that it will remain permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, <laughs> thank you, Jesus Christ.